Good evening to you. With the Omicron variant now detected right here in Texas and COVID hospitalizations on the rise, we're examining how the different regions of the state are faring. Federal data shows at least 30 Texas hospitals reported zero ICU beds available last week. KXAN's Maggie Glenn reports on the outlook ahead of another busy holiday travel season. Two of Texas's 22 trauma service areas are reporting COVID-19 hospitalization rates over 18%. That includes the Panhandle, which has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the state at 44 percent. I think that a lot of it does boil down to um, uh, vaccination. Our vaccination rate is lower. We've had more hesitancy about that. El Paso is also struggling. We are having some of our highest levels that we've seen in 2021. Hospitalizations, cases per day, deaths are probably higher than we've had since January and February. But that area has one of the highest vaccination rates at 72 percent. Doctors say that still isn't enough. That's still 100 to 200,000 people that are unvaccinated. I think I have 55 patients on my list today. It's immensely frustrating to be talking to people that are unvaccinated. We have the tools and the answers to this. We continue to see a predominance of persons in our hospitals that are unvaccinated. Ranges from 80 to 90 plus percent. Dr. Ogachika Alozi also emphasized the importance of booster shots. It's really critically important for those individuals that receive Johnson and Johnson this year to understand if they're more than two months out, they're partially vaccinated. They are not fully protected. The state health department shares that same message as more variants like Omicron appear and we head into a busy holiday season. It will increase your immune response to protect you against Delta but to also potentially protect you against any other variant that's introduced. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. Of those 16 million Texans who are now fully vaccinated, only 3 million have received an additional booster dose of the vaccine. There are another 2.5 million Texans who received only one of their two initial Moderna or Pfizer doses. For the first time in more than a month, statewide COVID-19 hospitalizations in Texas have jumped above 3,000 again. Now you heard Maggie mention nearly 18% of hospital patients in the El Paso region are being treated for COVID-19. Governor Greg Abbott announced today that DSHS will launch a new therapeutic infusion center there to try to prevent more hospitalizations. There are 15 other state-sponsored infusion centers across the state, including one in Austin treating outpatient cases with Regeneron's monoclonal antibodies. Treatments at the state center require a doctor's referral, but more than 200 private health providers are also offering them. A week ago today, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals said prior analysis suggested its antibody cocktail and similar drugs could have reduced activity against the Omicron variant. The FDA's emergency use authorization for Regeneron says it is not a substitute for vaccination against COVID.